What's up, everybody? Um, this is going to be the new series, vlog, build episodes, whatever you want to call it. Going to be doing this T4 truck. It's very similar to that truck over there. But time to build something to play with the big boys. So stay tuned. Going to try to post quite frequently. And plan is to have this thing done within the year. What's up? new build series coming uh, just started finally working on this thing spent a bunch of money already on some hardware and basically only for the front end starting to paint parts that are already fully welded and yeah a couple things going on today that i'll show you but happy to be starting this thing finally so the goal is right now to make this thing a roller I don't want to have to do anything really twice. So painting the trailing arms, going to paint the A arms complete. Um, since they're already fully welded out, going to paint the spindles fully. I know they're going to need brake line tabs and spindles are going to need uh, brake tabs, but the majority of it will be painted. So the rest can be painted on the car. Using steel it, even though it's $30 a can, you can't really beat the quality. The quality of the paint is pretty insane. Got balloons in the uniball cups, so I don't overspray in there, but yeah, the paint quality can't really tell, but pretty good out of a can. looks pretty much like powder coat so I got a machine down some bushings um, using these for reference because they worked they're off an old kit that has the same bulkhead and then I got a machine down some tubing that will sit inside of the bushings and the bolt will go through there so this one's pretty much there. Can't get it much tighter than that. And then for the upper arms, what I gotta do is weld these bungs in and weld the outer uniball cups in. And that's the spindle side. So I need to get the lower arms bolted on the car, spindle and upper A arm, have everything bolted together before I weld out that upper arm just to make sure that it's all gonna work and if you're wondering what three thousand dollars looks like or around twenty five hundred it is simply right here and some steel it but yeah stuff's not cheap but you gotta do it it's all fk aurora and yeah FK and Aurora, the nice expensive stuff, but keep you posted. Got these arms, links, and spindles all painted up. Can't paint my upper arms yet. Still need to weld the uniball cups and the heim bungs in. So I'm making the misalignments now while this paint's drying. Um, got a machine down the misalignment so there is no play whatsoever just so they absolutely perfectly fit even if the truck's in a jig it's not going to be absolutely perfect so machining down misalignments while this paint's drying and yeah pretty cool way to paint stuff not having to worry about anything getting anywhere you don't want it Uniball cup stays nice and clean. Paint quality on these steel it paint. Pretty good. That's wet. This is dry. Let's see if I can get a good video of it. Right now, inside the bung, nice and clear.
reason why I'm painting everything now is because if I don't do it now, I'm never gonna do it. Once this stuff goes on the truck, pretty much it's gonna be on there for good. I'm gonna throw it on there and yeah, I'll have to weld some brake line tabs and some brake tabs and this and that, but this makes me know that it's got a good paint job and I could do touch up paint while it's sitting on the truck later. Trying to build this thing quick, not trying to build the whole thing and then tear it back down. I'm trying to build it in steps that make sense to where I don't have to do anything twice. Like I'm gonna paint most of this lower half of the bulkhead, at least where the arms are gonna pivot. That way I don't get overspray on it later. Just trying to really think my painting through because when we built trucks in the past, you get so far on certain things and some stuff doesn't end up painted. Like this truck, I since it's torn down and we got the motor and trans out, since we're doing the swap, I was able to paint the majority of it, but there's still some tubes that are unpainted. So it's nice to get it done the first time. Got the one side done. There's the other side. So on the truck, got the lower arms on with the bushings, the bushing sleeves, uniballs in, upper arms. I got them bolted in roughly where they go. I need to weld them out still. I need to weld the top uniball cup on, but I'm gonna bolt it all together before I tack it all. Uh, bought the wrong misalignment spacers for the lower arm on the uniball. So not gonna get to this today, but Happy to see this thing with some arms on it. So the arms and the spindle are on both sides of the truck right now. Had to do this in order to make sure everything's gonna be in line when I tack the uniball cup in, as well as the upper arm bungs. So I'm gonna get a Decent weld on here without seizing up the hymen side. Decent weld on there. And then same thing down here, decent weld to hold it all in place, at least a couple tacks all around it. And then from there, basically everything but the upper arm is gonna stay on the car. I'm gonna weld out the upper arm, throw some hubs on it, and make this front end a roller without upper shock tabs yet, but that's my next step is to make this front end a roller and then I'll start on the rear, making the rear a roller. That way this thing is mobile. And then after that, plans will be to mount the motor and trans. After that's mounted, panel the whole car off. And then from there, just start 
wiring, plumbing, and buttoning the whole car up. But seems really easy. Just a lot of time. Gonna be sick. So finally back in the shop, not working on my truck till after I'm off work. Right now I'm working on my dad's 6100, doing the trans mount. Gonna come off our old trans mount tube here. This is a removable tube. I don't know if you can see that very well. But yeah, this tube right here. And then there is factory bolt holes in the back of the trans. This is a 8L90E. So I'm bending flat plate off of this tube to there. Gotta make a bend and that thing is done. Show you what it looks like after. And hopefully I'll be able to get some videos today of working on my truck, putting the links together and continuing on trying to make it a roller. So this is the trans mount. A trick that I really like to do when using 316s or bigger material is I will grind my bend and then I will fill it in after I get everything perfect. It just makes bending it a lot easier. Probably frowned against, but easy trick to bend thick material and still be pretty damn strong welding this back in. Gonna weld the back side of this. And then I'm probably gonna do a kicker tube from here to here, or maybe two of them, just for added strength. But yeah, this is it. Going in the LT4 L890E, or whatever tranny that is, 10 speed and 650 horsepower. With that hot and that strong of a weld, I don't think doing my grind in bending method is any weaker than just bending the steel. Might even be stronger. So basically what I do is grind in till there's about eighth inch left of plate or sixteenth even. And, and I'll backfill it after I get my bend. It just keeps your bend perfectly straight and makes it a lot easier. Got the upper arms welded out, welded the uniball cups in, as well as the heim bungs with the rosette welds. Getting these arms painted, even though I know I'm gonna do some more welding, but again, the majority of it will be welded so or painted so it could stay on the truck and I won't have to come off again I could just do touch up paint so the front ends going together snouts should be here tomorrow get the snouts on put the hubs on don't have wheels for it but at that point it is essentially almost a roller so for the rear end got my himes in the links or the uniballs and the links so those are ready to go on the truck because the lower mount's already done i need to do the upper link mount on both sides and then i can throw my rear end on and yeah trying to get this thing to a roller before i start on anything else but it's getting there just got to decide on what kind of parts I'm going with. I'm either gonna go with a 2.0 or a 2.5 how rack. I have a 2.5 one on the shelf, but the pump is a lot more expensive and I'm probably only gonna end up running 37s on this. So I don't think I need a 2.5 rack. The 2.0 rack is a bit cheaper. Same with the pump, same with the servo. It's all a lot cheaper. So just gotta decide on parts and how exactly to spend my money because this thing is going to be very expensive. All in all, it is coming together nicely. 
So a couple days in now into building this thing. Um, the arms, most of the part came welded. I had to weld the upper uniball cup and heim bungs in. Got some videos of that, but all that's done, all that's painted. What I'm working on now is got to tap the snout blocks cause they shrink a little bit after welding. And then got these Jamar 2.5 snouts. There is a left and a right. So it'll be facing like this and your wheels are gonna be spinning this way. So this jam nut needs to tighten while the wheel's going forward this way. So there is a left and a right, not like production cars, but gonna tap these bolt holes and then I will use red Loctite torque two A three eight dash 24 grade eight bolt, which is 45 pounds star pattern, of course. And then after that, I'm gonna throw on my front hubs and see if a 40 inch tire is gonna fit on this truck. Otherwise I gotta run 37s. Got the shop dog helper here today. He's not happy. So I got the snouts on on both sides. Um, you can see this is a left hand side because as the wheels move forward, the lock nut for the hub gets tighter. Therefore, trucks are always going forward for the most part. It's not gonna back out. Um, ran the tap through every hole just to be safe. I don't know if I got some paint in for the backside. Um, these are 12.38-24 bolts. Um, Red Loctite and 40 pounds of torque, and this should be good. Now throwing on a hub to see if 40s are gonna clear, which really hope they do. 40s look cooler than 37s. So we're probably not gonna turn sharper than this. And we have about an inch inch and a half at most yeah this won't even go any further in so let me jack it up a little bit more Let's see but i think that's pretty much center of tire well it's a little below center of tire so as cool as a 40 looks i'm gonna have to cut the crap out of the cab if i want to be safe with deflection, I know steering's not gonna go up much past that, but with deflection of the tire and suspension from a really hard hit pushing back, it could touch the chassis. That's too tight of a clearance to be safe, but who knows? Maybe I will run 40s or maybe just the 39. But. Other than that, truck is gonna be very sick. The spare tire holders, or the location, only fits a 37, but if I take this inch and a quarter tube out, I could fit a 40 or I just stick with 37s all around. But it won't look nearly as cool. So now that the front's almost a roller, gotta start working on the rear. Got the snouts welded in for the rear as well. Made sure they're spinning in the right direction. Just need lower link pivots on the rear end and I need upper link pivots on the chassis. And then I can throw that on there as well. So I just checked the full bump and turn on this truck that's raced probably 25 and finished 25 races. And it's got about 
the same inch and a half clearance. So I'll probably risk it and run 40s because they are a lot cooler. Not saying it's right. You want to have a little bit more room than that, but that clearance point is the same distance. So for a play truck that I'll maybe race one time, I'm going to run 40s and not cut this corner of the truck out. So that's pretty much it for today and this first episode. Um, going to have... A a lot of progress happening very quickly with this thing. At least that's the plan. But now waiting on money, waiting on parts. Well, for the front. The rack is expensive. Um, for the rear, you just need some parts that are decently cheap and some hardware. And should be able to make this thing a roller very soon, but... Stay tuned, gonna be posting about this thing quite a lot. And this is the new build series.